Hello, my name is Tony Fez, and I take you live down to the post game comments, the post game interviews by the players. So I hope you enjoy the Maple Leafs conference. I'll take you there now. What does this weekend mean to the team? Two great opponents back-to-back to get to Um Yeah, it's great. Uh, obviously, we talked about this being a big weekend for us, especially being a back-to-back against two great teams. So, um, you know, like I said, I think both games, defensively speaking, we uh, we did what we wanted to. We, we held our objective down there. and um, Great weekend, but now it's time to reset and be ready to go for Tuesday. How about for Eric Sheldon? You can you guys in it from all the game in his first full start without yeah, uh, it was great. I mean, Shally had a lot of hard shots there. They're, I mean, a great team at getting pucks through from the point, tips, um, just creating havoc at net. So um, Shelly did a great job, or did a great, great job keeping guys off the net as well. And um, like I said, we stayed patient with it defensively, um, just tried to wait for our chances. All four of your lines seem to come through tonight. Uh, the fourth line got a lot of action, and then when they kind of broke up the first two, everybody made different contributions. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, that's what we want from our team. Like we've talked about from day one, we have a deep team here, especially forward-wise. So um, it was great to see all four lines contributing. Um, you know, there's a lot of speed in all our lines. There's a lot of different skill in all of our lines. So um, all came through tonight, and uh, like I said, it was, it's, a, it's a big win. It's a, it's a good win. When you're nice play all around on the game-winning goal. How did you see it on full? Yeah, um, just kind of bouncing in the neutral zone for a second. Just seemed like it kept going back and forth, and then... I uh, went up to Robbie coming through the middle with speed and tried to cut it over, just kind of bouncing. And, uh, lucky enough, I was able to pull it through, get it around, and I uh, saw Johnny going backside there, so just tried to put in a spot that he could uh, one touch it in. And um, I think uh, most times that guy's going to put that in with that, that opportunity. So uh, it was great to see, and um, you know, it was just a great shift there by our line. When the lines get adjusted like that, you're playing with John, just go back on past experience playing with him in a situation like that? Um, well, I think that's the. Uh, great thing about our team is it doesn't really matter who you play with. A lot of guys are the same with just creativity, um, skill-wise and everything like that. So it um, doesn't take much to kind of switch into a different line. And um, you know, I think uh, both lines did a great job. We'll see what happens going forward. But um, you know, we, we kept with it. We kept with everything. Um, a lot of talk on the bench, just making sure we're doing the right things. And um, came through at the end. Who got the belt tonight? Uh, Shally did. Uh, well deserved. I mean, he's uh, like we just talked about. He battled all the way through there. Um, was a was a great effort by him and you know by the whole team. Is there an origin story behind the belt? Is, is there wrestling fans in the room or just? Um, I think Mo got it from. I uh, can't remember who gave it to him at the WWE in in Scotia Bank a couple years ago. I can't remember who gave it to him, but um, yeah, I don't know. It just came up this year, and you know why not? Uh, you know, a cool way to recognize someone for their efforts in a game, and um, we thought it was deserving and. Uh, you know, kind of something we should do. So uh, that's kind of how it came about. Was it Edge who gave it to him? It looks like Edge. Yeah, maybe it was Edge. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like I said, it was a couple of years ago. I remember it was to Mo, and um, but yeah, it's uh, it's a cool gift to us, and um, I mean, it's uh, it's a cool kind of little thing we got going on. Eric, what are you most proud of about tonight's game from your perspective? Uh, I'm most happy about the win. Uh, to come in here and play the way we did, we played so solid defensively, and uh, yeah, it was a great game by us. What goes through your mind when that first goal goes in the way it did? Um, yeah, it's he made a pretty good uh, play. He was fast. I gotta be uh, even quicker there, but uh, yeah, it's just gotta keep playing. Uh, uh, there's some uh, there's uh, skilled players in this league, so it's uh, it's gonna happen again. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of game left, so just gotta keep playing. A couple of times on the road trip, you're pretty hard on yourself. How do you feel about the last couple of days and how that has worked out? Um, yeah, obviously happy about uh, the results uh, uh, these last couple of days. So uh, yeah, it's 
I feel like, uh, like I told you guys before, that my, my game's been uh, been pretty good, but haven't had the, the kind of results, uh, obviously that we that we wanted. But uh, yeah, you just gotta keep working, and uh, uh, then uh, days like this will come too. How did you like the way the team played in front of you? It looked like there weren't a lot of second chances after those initial shots. Yeah, they made some. Uh, we played really solid defensively. There was a lot of uh, a few shots that was. Uh, hard for me. It kind of um, ended up being a rebound, but we were there and cleared it every time. So, um, yeah, games like this uh, makes it makes it uh, very very easy for me. What was it like to get the belt? That was nice. Uh, it's always uh, uh, it's always nice to get that, and uh, yeah, uh, like a happy locker room after a big win. What did you think of just how the group responded to the whole weekend, like getting the opponents and back to back in less than 24 hours? What was it like from your perspective? Yeah, obviously, uh, two wins for us. It's, uh, so, uh, that's huge. Uh, two good teams as well. So uh, I think uh, these two games were uh, really solid from us. So uh, yeah, I'm really, uh, really happy with uh, the way we played uh, this weekend. What stands out about the challenge Vegas will present on Tuesday? Yeah, we know they're uh, they're a good team. Uh, we faced them uh, a little bit less than uh, two weeks ago, so uh, they're uh, they're obviously a, a really good team. So that's going to be a be a challenge for us, and we're going to find uh, uh, even more uh, in our game. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be fun. So, what have the last 24 hours been like for you? Uh, it's been a little crazy. Not not much sleep, a lot of travel, and uh, a lot of excitement. <laughs> <laughs> What's it mean to you? Uh, it's awesome, um, you know, I've put a lot of work in the last, uh, well, my whole life, but um, it, uh, it's really special, it was a really special moment, um, the way it was done uh, last night, actually, uh, yeah, so yeah, it's been it's been a whirlwind, but it's been great. So the it, it, I saw the video there with the, in the dressing room, the Marlies, everyone finding out what was, what was that like? Uh, yeah, it was super cool. I had no idea until uh, that moment, so it was great to be around the boys and uh, you know see their excitement as well. How did, that, how did you all find out about it? Because it must have come together pretty quick, like Sam's not going down last night as well. Well, like I said in that video, that's literally the first time oh, really? I, I, I I found anything out about it. So I was uh, I was just playing a game in Belleville yesterday, you know. So. Uh, take take things one day at a time. With the tight turnaround, like you learn the news and you got to prepare to travel. Like, what was that twelve hours like? like um, so I bussed from Belleville to Toronto. I spent like two hours at my apartment getting some stuff together, and uh, daylight savings was great. I got a little <laughs> extra extra time there because of that. But um, yeah, it was quick, and then a six a.m. flight uh, down here. So. And I think you guys were late on the bus too, right? You guys didn't get much sleep, or the um, bus, the yeah. The, the night before, yeah. we had some, uh, we had a tire pop, and yeah. uh, <laughs> for, so Friday night was a 4 a.m. or as well. So yeah, it's been, uh, it's been quite the weekend. Right. When, you, <laughs> when you watch a game from the corner over there, and you're watching, you, you really do have a chance to kind of drink it in a little bit. What did that feeling? feel like knowing I could go in and this could be a big day if something changes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, my parents flew down for that exact reason. You know, uh, they didn't want to miss it just in case something did happen. But, um, you know, always prepared, always ready. And, yeah, it was super exciting to just, uh, you know, be here, be able, like you said, be able to take it in. And, uh, yeah. You're hoping, obviously, something might happen during the week that might see you get some action. Um, I'm just here to play. You know, I'm just trying to have a good day every day, like I've said before. And, uh, you know, wherever things take me, they'll take me. How would you describe your preparedness for this level if it comes? Uh, I think I'm ready. We'll, we'll find out. But <laughs> <laughs> um, my opinion, yeah, I think I got off to a great start this year. And, uh, yeah. Did you have a favorite moment tonight? A welcome to the, I know you didn't play, but a welcome to the NHL moment because I know the guys have routines in warm-up. Oh, I got sniped on pretty good in warm-up. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> welcome to the show. Matthew shot pretty good. I don't even think you let me have a taste of it tonight. Oh. but <laughs> Nice guy. It, it, it took you some time to get here and get signed, and that's going to be part of your story if you do get in the game. What has it meant to you to have to battle through before you ended up signing an NHL contract? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it just makes it mean that much more. You know, I uh, had, there were definitely some doubts about me coming out of college, and uh, you know, it's just really exciting for me to be able to prove that that stuff wrong and uh, you know, showcase my abilities. A couple of times this year, maybe the team's been guilty of letting other teams hang around. Tonight, you guys stuck with it, hung around, and got rewarded in the end. 
Yeah, considering the circumstances, I think we knew we uh, had to be patient with our game. Um, just have good, strong structure, especially have to win a lot of battles tonight. There wasn't much room out there, I think, for either team. Uh, they, they come hard. They put a lot of pressure. So um, just staying with it, and then eventually, you know, we started to create a little bit more, uh, tilt the ice a little bit. Uh, they came hard early in the third, but we withstood that and obviously got a couple of big goals. When you're it's a big, just, it's a big when weekend for the team, and Shelgren gets thrown into the middle of there. What do you make of how he handled everything? He was, he's, uh, he's been great. I think, you know, you saw last year his calm demeanor uh, came in, um, you know, obviously at this level and, and uh, just believing in his game and, and just uh, being calm, um, you know, shows a lot of poise. Uh, so we got a lot of belief in him. We got strong depth uh, uh, in net and, and uh, it goes to show it and, and I think it's a great opportunity for him. So um, good job by everyone, I think, playing well in front of him and then him obviously making some key saves and uh, doing what he does well. Put this game around. Well, I think, first of all, the way we had a chance to, to flip it around is that, you know, even though we were being outplayed for a lot of the beginning of the game, and when I say outplayed, it was just through, you know, territorially and they, they weren't giving us anything easily and there's nothing for free. We, we couldn't really get our offense going. But within all that, I, I still thought, you know, we give up the power play goal that they scored, but we didn't give up much defensively. You know, there's a lot of point shots, a lot of stuff coming toward our net, but no real big scoring opportunity. So because of that, you're hanging around in the game, you're right there. I thought our players responded extremely well to the changes in the lines, you know, through the second period there. And then their response at a time, you know, that's a pivotal moment in the game where I look at it as, you know, this game maybe could get away on us or at least the clock could get away on us. Uh, so try try to change it up a little bit. and. And uh, players made the decision at that point. They're not, they weren't just going to go away. They were going to dig in. And I thought the game changed from that point on. And then, you know, uh, or I should say from that point of the period on. And then in the third period, again, you're right there. You're in the hockey game. And you get a couple scoring opportunities. And you make good on them. And I think uh, the win is on the backs of playing sound defensively uh, even when things weren't going our way. You gave the camp line a lot of responsibility tonight. Like, as you say, they were uh, coming through defensively for you. Those guys were excellent. I thought Dennis Malgan was our best player through, through much of the hockey game. And one of the only guys really hanging on to the puck and really challenging the inside and making things happen. Um, so that line was really good. It's a few games in a row now that that line's been really both responsible but also dangerous at the same time. I think you know, Malkin's inclusion on that group gives it that element. Uh, so those guys were obviously that's the one line I, I kept the same uh, because I thought they were doing good things and uh, it's a really positive thing for us. Really really happy uh, for Dennis. The adjustments you made to those lines, is that strictly situational or is that something you think you might carry over based on maybe some of the things you like defensively? Or? Well tonight it was more of a reflection of how I felt the game, how I felt about the game, rather than how I felt about the lines necessarily. I just felt that it was one of those games where we were fine. We were, it's a one nothing game, but not a lot was happening for us. And I just thought, you know, maybe changing things up a little bit will get the guys' attention and, and change the chemistry, and that in itself might uh, spark something. And, and also at the same time, it throws off some matchups for the opposition a little bit. Too, they have a plan going in, and obviously the plan was going pretty pretty well for them. So changing the lines, um, you know, now they have to make some decisions. They get out of rhythm a little bit. So those are, that's what I was looking for in terms of what we'll do going forward. Got a, a nice flight and a day off tomorrow to think about that. What do you think of how Shelgren responded, especially considering the way the first goal goes in there? Yeah, I, I thought it was really good. Again, I thought that the team protected him really well. I mean, I don't know. You really break it down you know, in terms of true scoring chances. I don't know how many you would say that they had. We didn't have a lot either. But you know, if they had five really good looks at the net, I think that you know that would. Be, if they had more than that, it wouldn't be many. Um, but a lot of activity, right? A lot of point shots, a lot of traffic, a lot of that kind of stuff. Where pucks are flinging at the net, and I thought he was solid there. There was you know, a couple of real strong pushes early in the third period by Carolina, and he was really solid there. So. It's a good win for him. It's 
you know, he's he's done well for us. He's beaten this Carolina team uh, in you know before last season, so I think I'm sure he had that confidence coming in. It's a little bit of a different beast in this building, but um, again, I thought our our team, even when it was hard, I mean, that Carolina team makes it real hard on you to get going, hard to get out of your end. Um, our team was just persistent and uh, stayed with it, and that's something we talked about you know, before the game uh, began. Is the game's going to require uh, some patience. We're going to have to, you know, be be persistent and find our way through, and not let the game get away on us. And Shawgreen did a good job of helping us with that. I'm it's, it's a long year. Um, how much growth can be done in a weekend like this, given the, the circumstances that surround your group? I think lots, you know. I mean, that's what we talked about going into this week is let's just get better day at a time. You know, um, you know the results that we've gotten obviously are very positive, but we're also, we've just been focused on our game and trying to play well, give ourselves chances to win games, not beat ourselves, like all those things. And, and that's, what, that's really what we've done, and it's given us a chance to win every game that we've been in. We've played in some really close games here this weekend against very good teams. And to come out on the right side of it certainly helps, uh, you know, the, the, the swagger of the group. And that was important to get back. Um, you know, it's, it's a long season. A lot of things can happen. That's why we've remained confident in our group despite, you know, the, the road trip not going well. We went out west. But, uh, you know, I, I love the response of our group uh, all through the week and certainly here tonight in difficult circumstances. That was good for the post game show. So I'll be back with the next action on Tuesday. I'll try to get that pre game before the game starts, but if not, I'll be back Tuesday night with results and the post games after the games are done. Alright, have a good one. Bye for now. Bye. 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 Bye.